Palatka, Florida. And we're gonna jump out of that aircraft today, a Kodiak, with our brothers in preparation of D-Day, 75th anniversary. Rangers lead the way. So this year is the 75th anniversary of D-Day. On June 5th, uh, we'll be loading up in a C-47 Douglas aircraft and uh, we will be jumping into France. We actually need to do a training, what we call a bar, and it's a basic airborne refresher. A lot of us who are old and decrepit have not jumped for at least five to 20 years. You're gonna use a parachute? It's a sign of weakness, but I'm gonna do it today. <laughs> A little grayer, a little bigger. Yes, a little older. Twice as mean. All right, let's roll. Whiskey and World War II go hand in hand. Pappy Van Winkle and Bullet Bourbon were all World War II vets that came home. They went back to the distilleries and they really changed the face of American bourbon forever. We're bringing uh, American freedom to France once again. American Freedom Distillery, Horse Soldier Bourbon. Bourbon actually comes from a dynasty in France. You had Bourbon Street in New Orleans. You had Bourbon County in Kentucky. And it's rumored that bourbon actually started in Bourbon County and that's where the name came from. It's a really special time being over here because it's the 75th anniversary of D-Day. A lot of the guys aren't gonna be around for the next 100th one. So uh, it's very special to us to actually be over here and be a part of it. That's why this juice that we have developed and produced means so much to us. It just, it's not just bourbon, it's a life, a commitment, a sacrifice, something that we honor and we will honor until the day we die. Toast to the following. Uh, well, we're sitting around waiting to get a uh, pre-jump equipment, equipment inspection. We're going to get a briefing and we're going to do a little bit of training and we're going to get parachutes and we're going to show up at some ungodly hour tomorrow morning. That's Everything in the military is called hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. <laughs> Alright, we'll catch up to you in a couple hours and see if you're still sitting here. Yeah, we will be. <laughs> It started to hit you as everybody was gathering loosely around the hangar. It's like, we are gonna do this. Mm. Okay, let's start doing uh, pre-jump training. Everybody gets in one big circle. We're about to jump out mm. of a plane over Caritain, France. Mm. And when the old C-47s finally flew in to pick us up, we knew it was time to jump. That emotion to be in the aircraft, stand in the door, and look mm. out over the French countryside. Finally, jump out into the wind. I was second last out the door, and so I had this beautiful, beautiful view. What I had in front of me are all the other parachutes mm -hmm. that are coming down. And it was about that time and you think to yourself, wow, how amazing is it to be here? And you just do a parachute fall, you jump up, woo! You probably heard of, you know, 20 other woos. <laughs> We rolled everything up, we all met kind of in the center, and then we walked out, and everybody starts clapping. And that's the first time you really get to see the size of the crowds. Man, what an honor. What an honor. Mm -hmm. 
coming down and looking down on French soil, knowing the boys did the same thing, it was uh, special. Special.